Welcome back to MS Caretaker Chris. Today I have for you four must-see MS documentaries that can be found on Amazon Prime. So if this is something you find some value in, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's jump right on in. So before we jump into taking a look at these videos, I'll show them here on the computer. I do want to say that um, I did find these on Amazon Prime. I uh, will add a link for Amazon Prime if you do not have an account with Amazon Prime. There's a 30 day free trial you can take advantage of. The link will be in the description. Let's jump on in, take a look at these four videos. I think you'll enjoy them. So what you're looking at now is uh, my Amazon Prime I have up um, with the four videos. I'm going to show you a tab for each one. Um, but the first two that I want to talk about, uh, each one of these I'm just going to talk a few minutes about just to give you an idea about what the movie or documentary is about. Uh, that way you'll have the uh, option to go ahead and watch them if you choose to. But the first two were um, directed and starring Kevin Lindenmuth. Um, but they actually, what you'll see more in these videos are they're a little bit older. Um, you can tell as soon as you start to watch it, the film looks a little bit older. Uh, they uh, start out by interviewing basically three people who live with MS. The thing I did like about these videos are the fact that they actually incorporate the families in. So um, one thing I, I really loved is you got to see a little bit about what um, some of their children thought about the, the disease and how their lives changed a little bit. So um, it actually gives you a lot of insight on what younger minds think about when it comes to MS, how much they understand it how much they actually uh, think that their lives are going to change, how much the uh, just whole scenario of their day-to-day -day lives change. Um, some of them were playing sports and their father, you know, loved to play sports with them. So it actually shows how the, he declined a little bit and was unable to do that and what the children thought about that. So I really do uh, recommend you take the time to watch it. They're both um, right around an hour long. So the first one here is called Life with Multiple Sclerosis. It says 2006 here. It looks a little bit older to me when you watch it, so I'm not really 100% sure of the actual um, time that it was actually filmed. And then they actually revisit the same families in uh, the second documentary that I recommend, which is More Life with Multiple Sclerosis. Uh, now, again, both of these, if you have a Prime account, are free. Um, and, again, you'll be able to take a look in the links below. If you do not have Amazon Prime, you can get a 30-day free trial um, with, with the link that I'll put below. So that's the first two. Um, the next two actually were really, really good documentaries. Um, my wife and I really enjoyed uh, this one here. It's called When I Walk. It was by Jason Da Silva, and it actually he's the director, and it stars him. And this is basically a six-year following of his life, and it actually shows his decline with um, primary progressive MS. It was a really, really good film, and I highly recommend this one. Now, in his six-year journey, it uh, uh, actually, with the disease being progressive, it actually shows um, how serious and, and how many different ailments uh, he had to deal with throughout that journey in the six years, and um, it's pretty neat. He was able to find love. Um, he actually was able to have a child, and it actually shows you a lot about that. Um, but it does show how he progressed from walking to having difficulty with walking, moving on to a cane. Um, then from a cane, he had to use a walker and then from a walker uh, to a wheelchair or to use um, the one of the um, mobile wheelchairs or, or electric chairs um, that actually he needed to get around. Um, it got to the point where he actually um, had trouble just getting in and out of bed and actually needed his partner to actually help him with that his wife and and shows a lot about her and and what she went through so it's a great documentary for both uh someone with ms and someone uh in the caretaker role so real quick a little bit of information about jason da silva so he was actually diagnosed uh at age 25 in 2005 uh, he started out just having some small uh, vision issues and some issues with walking uh, and then it quickly like I said started to progress um, he was actually a filmmaker before this so he traveled the world doing different documentary documentaries and was well known for doing it 
And then he decided to take, when he was diagnosed, decided to take on this project that he was going to let people see what he went through, um, through his stages of uh, progressive MS. So he actually did this documentary called When I Walk. And then um, after completing this, he actually won uh, an award, an Emmy Award for Outstanding Informational Program for this documentary. And at the completion of this documentary, he decided he was going to do um, at least one more, which was is called When We Walk. Uh, it's kind of hard to find anything on that other than a trailer uh, and some journal entries that he did if you look on YouTube. But it's called When We Walk. And um, there is uh, information out there that once he completed that, uh, that was released in 2019. He then moved forward and is currently working on When They Walk. So it's going to be a complete trilogy uh, of that series. Um, there is, what I do want to show you, is a website that he has called When We Walk. Um, so it says a film from a father and a, and a father to a son directed by Jason De Silva. So it has a trailer on there that you can watch, um, some information about the film, um, information about finding a screening, but I don't think that um, is actually up to date. So um, then it has a, a opportunity to donate if you'd like to. So there's a bunch of stuff you can check out on that site as well if you'd like to. And the last documentary that I'm going to share with you today uh, is called Living Proof. This is a uh, documentary directed and starring Matt Embry. Uh, it also has appearances from his father, who was a huge advocate for him, uh, decided once he found out his son was diagnosed with MS, he was going to make it a mission of his to find out how he could help him in the best uh, way possible and ultimately helped him make the decision to not um, go the medicine route uh, and do more of a diet-based um uh, work on, on using diet to help him treat his MS symptoms. And then also uh, Dr. Terry Walls, uh, which you'll recall, put out the Walls Protocol and has a bunch of information about diet uh, and MS uh, is also in the film. So a little bit about uh, Matt Embry. He was diagnosed in 1995 um, and decided he was going to help others focus on a drug-free life uh, like he like he decided on um, basically diet and exercise and he actually developed a website called MS Hope I'm going to show you here in a minute um, and on top of using um, a drug-free lifestyle he decided to go with what some may say was a controversial uh, procedure called CCSVI which is um, where they use a balloon to work on the narrowing of the veins that run up along the neck um, to increase blood flow and to help out with those kind of things. Um, I will say with this video, it's pretty. It's a pretty eye-opening video. It'll make you think about um, how the big-time pharmaceutical companies play a part um, in determining a, a lot when it comes to some of the um, help that you see online. Um, a lot of times, most of the things that we see online when we're researching um, different um, possible cures, different medications, different options people have. A lot of those uh, sites are driven by a lot of these pharmaceutical companies. And it actually, he kind of breaks down a little bit about how much money is spent of the money that they take in, how much is actually spent um, to actually help uh, people who are suffering with MS. Um, and then it also makes you think about like medicine versus no medicine. Um, what I got out of it myself, this is just my opinion, is that I do believe that, yeah, hey, if it's great, if you're able to get by by just working on your diet, that's great. Um, and if you're able to not show progression while you are just doing a diet, great. However, um, some people are unable to get around as good as he was able to. Um, so on top of dieting, he was working out those types of things, which really helped him out may not be an option for other people. So it's a great documentary to watch, but it does give you an idea of like, hey, maybe we should change up our diets. Maybe we should start to look at what we're eating. Um, and then also on top of what we're doing uh, as far as a treatment plan. So I do recommend this one. So like um, the living proof and the when I walk, I found to be the best two out of the four. Um, but you may have other opinions on that. And I'll show you here MS Hope. That's his... Um, 
website he has. He has links to YouTube videos he has for diet, um, for exercise, and then the CCSVI, um, which is the treatment plan he went through uh, for the vein narrowing. And then he's got a bunch of video updates and different things about diets, supplements, that kind of thing. So I'd encourage you to take a look at both uh, the video and that site. So I hope these um, are something that you may enjoy taking a look at. All right, so I hope you'll be able to take advantage of the Amazon Prime uh, link that I'll put in the description for the free trial. Or if you already have Amazon Prime, I hope you enjoy these four videos. My wife and I actually made sure to take the time to watch all four before I decided to do these videos or do this video. So again, I hope you enjoy. Please remember, subscribe, like, share. Uh, it's through your support that I'm able to reach more and more people uh, that may need this valuable information and should have another video coming out uh, within the next few days. So again, thank you for your time and uh, please continue to enjoy the channel and share with as many people as possible. Thank you.